very much of the idea that um, I like small talk and I like uh, hardware interfacing and things like that. And uh, I have retired uh, by the end of uh, February, so uh, I thought uh, there is time to do something like that. So what you see uh, here in this presentation is uh, uh, an idea of an experimental work uh, to increment, to, to increase the quality of, uh, of a heat control system, uh, namely the one which is uh, driving my house since some years. Uh, I detected the problems of the original uh, design very early when I, when I bought the new uh, heating boiler. The problem was that uh, I, I did not have time at that time uh, to make uh, something by myself. And so uh, this machine ran for about uh, six or seven years. Uh, but now I have, uh, as, as I said, I have changed uh, the things and I hope that I can show to you that uh, it has been worth it. So uh, the idea is that uh, this is the heating boiler and uh, it is driven by gas and uh, then uh, I have uh, a temperature called TK which is uh, the temperature of the water in the boiler. Then we have the TV which is the uh, temperature going to the house. TR is the temperature coming back from the house and these are two auxiliary uh, temperatures uh, the, which measure the, the temperature right at the mixer uh, on both sides so that you can see the effect of uh, what happens when TK has a certain amount uh, and uh, you, you change the mixer state then uh, TKM will be uh, in, in interesting relationship with TK. Uh, this, the control of the whole machine is done by you have a pump here, which pumps the water through the house, and uh, you have the mixer. This pump has just an on-off, uh, 230 volt uh, relay. Then you have the mixer, which has three com uh, two contacts, namely uh, it is either close or open. That's the two directions of the mixer. The mixer has 90 degrees, uh, zero is here and when it is fully open, it's, uh, it's uh, as it is shown on the photo, it's 90 degrees. And uh, so you need two relays here, and the gas valve by itself is also controlled by one uh, con. Uh, so you have in total two plus two makes four uh, relays for the job. Now, uh, the problem is that uh, we have to think about how to control uh, the outgoing temperature is really the, the, the thing which is important uh, for the house because uh, this is really transporting energy to, to the house 
uh, and uh, the typical uh, range of temperatures uh, in this uh, uh, environment when it is not a very good uh, isolated house is between, let's say, 30 degrees and 55 degrees. But now comes an important restriction. Uh, the boiler temperature should not be below 40 degrees because else you get uh, condensation effects. And uh, condensation means that uh, the, the heating uh, environment, the, the, uh, the boiler could co produce corrosion and uh, rust away. Rust? Rust. 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 Yeah. Yeah. rust. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this is the important thing. You see that you have here a temperature and this range is uh, below and above uh, these 40 degrees. So you need a mixer. And uh, we have two main actuators, uh, as, as explained before, namely the gas valve and the mixer position. Now, uh, what is interesting also is that uh, the boiler is typically uh, a, a very small uh, thing, because it's clear that uh, you do not want to have a, a large boiler, because it, it produces uh, dissipation, uh, which is lost when you do not uh, have uh, need to transport it into the house. So typically these boilers have small uh, content, about uh, something around 10 liters, whereas the radiators in the house will have three to 500 liters or, or even more. That depends clearly on the specifics of the house. So it is clear that the heat capacity of the radiators is much uh, larger than the heat capacity of the boiler. And that means that you have to be careful in mixing. Because the problem is when, when the heat, when, when you open the mixer, what will happen is that the, the, the water is quickly flowing out of the, of the uh, boiler and uh, the temperature will uh, drop down. So uh, to maintain TK, uh, larger or equal to TK minimum, uh, is, is really uh, an important uh, regulation uh, Issue and uh, it's not so it's not so easy to to come to uh, to a good uh, behavior. Now uh, this was the starting point uh, in 2001 that uh, this commercially built control unit I'm calling it CU1 uh, was was just built into the the boiler as it came from the company who installed it. And uh, this uh, boiler is running the system by uh, hysteresis control of TK. So that means you have a lower and an upper TK. And uh, what happens is uh, the, 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 the gas valve is controlled such that the temperature of the uh, boiler varies between the lower and the upper limit. And uh, the mixer uh, is then uh, pushing water into the into the house environment, but uh, the mixer is very inert, as we will see uh, later. And uh, the problem is that when the mixer is closed, when the mixer is in low angles, you have a very fast rise in TK. But as as soon as as soon as you have a high TK, it will stop the gas valve. Then the mixer is opening uh, further. And what happens is DK drops very fast, uh, and after some seconds, TK lower is reached, and uh, the, the, the burner will restart. And uh, what you see here is uh, a measured uh, example. This is uh, uh, one could read it here on this line. The header is uh, it's somewhere in, in, the, in March. I have made this measurement. Uh, you will see quite some uh, uh, of these graphics, uh, uh, so I would like to explain first what it means. What you have here is uh, the time, and from here to the end of the scale is 20 minutes. So uh, it's, it's 10 minutes in the middle. And the temperature starts here at zero, and here we have 80 degrees. Because this is an interesting range of temperatures. Uh, uh, so as to see what is going on in the, in the system. Now here this is the 40 degrees line, that's the line which should not be um, under, uh, under the mass. Yes. Uh, and uh, as you see here, we have here the TK, that's the red curve. On all uh, these graphics there will be the red curve 
will show the TK uh, as it is measured. Then you see here TKM, which is not so interesting at the moment. This is this mixing uh, temperature. Then you see here, this is the TV. Uh, that's the, the temperature outgoing into the house. And uh, what you see here is T, uh, TR, that's the reverse uh, temperature, the water which comes back from the house. And uh, it's clear when the, the, the boiler starts and it uh, produces heat, then you see First, uh, it goes uh, down here, which is understandable because of the mixer uh, of the pump, which is pumping the water from colder areas in the house down to the to the mixer, and then you, you get this uh, small bump. So here you see uh, slightly growing the temperature of the of the water as it comes back, which is uh, a large uh, mean building. You see, you have 300 liters, and when you when you bring three, uh, uh, energy on this uh, very quick, relatively quick uh, uh, pace into the water, it will be integrated out. So the, the temperature of TR goes up very slowly. And uh, clearly this is not very pleasant to have such a, a thing because you, you hear, you see this line here is 30 degrees. So that it means that uh, the, the boiler is always going up to around uh, nearly 60 degrees and below, uh, as low as 30 degrees and this is uh, running for at least uh, 45 minutes to an hour so it's uh, it's really very unpleasant and uh, not only that is, is bad but it's also the gas valve which is an electromagnetic valve which is all constantly switched on and off again and uh, this makes a lot of stress to this gas valve uh, which uh, finally ended up uh, in, uh, in the non-functioning of this valve uh, just uh, at the very cold winter day and I was not in the house and uh, when I came it was completely cold and uh, I had to, to get help from outside so that they could uh, replace the, 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 the valve but I only came and on Saturday and they couldn't uh, replace it immediately it was very very unpleasant and uh, I'm ra relatively convinced that this kind of behavior was really uh, much responsible for this kind of problem. Uh, that's just, uh, again, this, uh, uh, what I said before, that uh, I have this heavy swing of the, of the temperature of, uh, of the uh, boiler, and uh, the mixer is not really efficiently used. You always have to bring your own computer. It's it's really a problem, or, or probably it's not even the computer. It's just the the, the inter, uh, relationship between the machine and the project. I, I don't know how to do it. Can you you the other way. Can you use the tab keys. Yes, yeah. it's better to to use the page the page down. Uh, wow. once, once you see, I don't see here. The problem is that I don't see it. Or if you actually use the tab keys to move it slowly. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. okay, so it is clear that uh, what was the goal it was to make a better control unit. Now the new control unit uh, which I, I thought about uh, to build uh, should have had clearly the idea that uh, the temperature, the minimum temperature of the boiler should be uh, above 40 degrees as quickly as possible and it should never go down uh, below that temperature in any state where you are running the, 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 uh, the energy process. Clearly when you switch off the, the boiler then it's clear finally you go down. But the idea is that you restrict uh, this heating uh, up to a very short period. Uh, I started with the hardware idea of using a standard PC that is important, uh, or a Mac could also have been possible, but uh, uh, well. Uh, the standard PC was just there because I thought I want to do it in small talk, because all the, the machinery, all the, the ideas of controlling the system uh, are programmed in small talk. 
So uh, the standard PC was a good choice because then I would not have to bother about uh, how can, can I make run uh, the visual works environment uh, on, on, a, on a small hardware. But probably this will be a project in the future to transport the code down to a very, very small machine. Uh, then I wanted to have a USB based uh, uh, device where uh, all the analog digital conversion and whatever will be transported into the PC so that I do not have the interface electronically directly to the PC because this is uh, uh, not uh, what I wanted to think about. But uh, clearly this USB device uh, has to uh, be um, supported by uh, special hardware so that uh, all the, the sensors and uh, actuators are brought into uh, the environment that we can control. The software, as I explained, is small plus DLLs and uh, clearly it was uh, very uh, good uh, to have a simulator by which you can uh, really run the whole system uh, without having the, the, the boiler. You see what you see here is uh, here. This is the boiler. It's open. Normally, it's not. Looks. It just looks white. Uh, here there is built in all these different uh, materials. Then you have here. This is the electronics board where there is all the uh, interfacing for the sensors and for the actors, uh, actuators. Here you see the field for LED, uh, which are are used to sure show that. Uh, the signal is open or closed. Uh, then here you, you see a relay board with four relays which are interfaced by these uh, 230 uh, volt cables uh, here to the, to the oven. And then uh, here we have calibrated temperature sensors which are attached to this device. Then there is some other auxiliary hardware which I will probably uh, tell uh, about a little bit. Then uh, this one is the is a mini lab, uh, 1008. That's a USB uh, based uh, tool uh, machinery which uh, has uh, analog uh, channels, eight analog channels, 28 programmable I/O bits, and uh, two digital uh, analog uh, channels, which I do not use for that uh, project, at least not that one. And. Uh, the starting, uh, I was m using Mini-ITX uh, as a starting point for a, for a Windows platform, but uh, I'm not, uh, I do not want to use that for production because it uh, uses too much energy. The board itself uh, runs around 25 uh, watt, and uh, when you have a hard disk attached to it, you have another, another uh, around 8 to 10 watts, so it's uh, much too high. But uh, it's clear that uh, the final solution should not have any moving parts and it should be as low as possible. There is a good point about the CU1. Uh, I've measured the CU1. When it is uh, switched off, it uses around 2 to 3 watts. And when it is functioning, uh, including relay activation and things like that, it uses around 6 to 8 watts. So uh, I think this is, a, this is a good starting point uh, that one should uh, come to. But this is currently not, uh, not uh, my, my primary concern. Okay, uh, here again we have the temperature uh, sensors, which I have explained before a little. We have this TK, that's the most important one, the TV, the, the, the second one. Then we have the radiator, uh, uh, the, the from the radiators. And then clearly we need the outdoor temperature, the room temperature as a reference. Here you could use as many room temperature uh, sensors as you like. And then there are uh, these two to understand a little better what is going on. The actuators I also have explained before. Uh, we have just these four relays. I think we should not, uh, stay on. Okay, the software, uh, as I explained, clearly the, the Minilab uh, uh, commercial product uh, has just a DLL, which is very easily uh, usable by whatever programming environment you like. Uh, it is based on 
uh, human uh, interface, whatever. I, I don't understand these things. Uh, there is a, a special uh, Windows environment, human uh, interface, whatever. And uh, this machine uses that, but uh, it, it helps that you have a very, very nice uh, DLL, which is very simple to attach. I have used, uh, before I have used another uh, uh, interface which was a little more complicated. It, it works also fine, but, uh, but I think this mini lab is, a, is a, a, good, uh, a good compromise. Okay, as I explained before, all control is done in small talk, so that means that uh, the, the USB device is just there to get the temperatures in and to, to put the <coughs> signal, uh, signals out uh, of the computer and um, uh, everything else is really small talk code. Uh, the user interface clearly is in small talk. Then we have sockets, uh, we use sockets for remote operation and uh, we use simulation. The simulation is uh, is uh, running running ten times faster than the uh, real run, which is quite uh, agreeable because normally when you are there in the house and you start, it takes uh, let's say two hours until you get into the steady uh, state when the house is cold. So uh, it takes a lot quite some time to see all the different. Uh, what I have done uh, now is also that I can uh, run the, the system uh, locally and remotely. Uh, that means that uh, I have a headless image here on the, on the boiler computer. And then uh, through the LAN I have just the socket communication. <coughs> and I can uh, run the small talk the user interface on any other uh, uh, computer in the LAN so that uh, you can remotely control the machine. Question? It starts again. Uh, yes. May I have a question about the I think this is because the page size of the projector is not the page size of the machine. Uh, yeah. I had a question why did you use the you use the plane sockets? This is, is this right? Did you, you didn't use some uh, object distributed object framework? Uh, yes, I, I use plane sockets. Yeah. So uh, the reason is that uh, in our bank application that we had uh, where I worked before. Uh, we used sockets in the same way, uh, where we had just a, an XML uh, language to talk uh, between the two sockets, and uh, that was very simple to, to use. And I said, well, uh, I do not want to invent here a new uh, environment, uh, so uh, I just uh, used what we uh, were using it. You never tried uh, something <coughs> existing framework with distributed objects? I don't know. Is no, is it not in, uh, in OpenTalk, for instance? Yes. Yeah, yeah sure. We, we so could want to use this kind of thing. Basically, just uh, like using plain objects, with, but they are remote and you know it's transparent. So it's even yeah. even more simple. You need to set up to, to start up the, the infrastructure in both sides, and then you have your objects and you use the references as as if they refer to local objects. You don't yeah. see it in the rest of the application. Yeah, you see the, the, the uh, probably the point is the following. Uh, when when you, you saw the talk of uh, Signor Canilla uh, before, yes. there you also see that what he does is he logs very small amounts of information. And uh, in fact, uh, when, when he changes the model in a very strong way, he will, he, will, he will run to, into trouble because then his, uh, his chunks will not work anymore because they do not correspond anymore to the model. When you use such kind of communication as you, uh, as you suggest, then you are in a better shape, clearly. But I'm doing the same thing as here. That means I have very small commands. You see, because I just say, let's change the, the, the room temperature required to that and that value. Let's change the... Uh, the uh, alpha uh, of, of the um, heat uh, control uh, to, let's say, uh, 2.5 or whatever. 
and uh, these are very specific commands and there is not very much uh, uh, deep thought in, in it uh, how, how we would do that. So I didn't uh, bother about using huge uh, object models to make a communication between two small talk applications because the one is really a, a more or less a, a kind of slave. And then there was also a second reason. I'm, I'm at the moment I'm always recording the, the measured uh, uh, temperatures of all the sensors and all the settings of the of the headless image, and this is written onto a file. And uh, in this file there is just tab uh, separated records, and these records are spontaneously transmitted also over the, the socket interface for each socket which is connected. And by that, uh, I, I also was out of, of any object-oriented uh, thinking when I'm, I'm using this kind of, uh, of records, because it's, it's not... Uh, you see... It's an easy thing, you just reused what you were successful with. Yeah, so yeah and, and okay. it's just a simple... A simple uh, it's assumption. the simple there afterwards. Yes. Okay. <laughs> now we come to the, to the heating model. Uh, which is clearly the, op the important <coughs> thing about all the, the, the machinery and uh, what we want to have is we want to have a smooth running and we would like to have energy saving by minimizing the mixing entropy which means uh, that uh, it's, it's a, an optimization of the, of the energy uh, thing we can, we can talk about this <coughs> okay uh, as we said, TK should always be uh, more than 40 degrees whenever the boiler is active. Uh, so uh, the idea is to distinguish... You see what is important? I'm making a presentation about my experiments that I have done over a while. And what is very amusing is you, sh you <coughs> just stay there and say, the idea is... It's clear, you, when you start thinking, then the first thing is you come and you make these three ideas. That's not true at all. You start and you experiment and you find out what is bad and then you... And finally you come to this, okay? But this is a conclusion. We have three phases. The early heat up from cold boiler, the intermediate heat up, which is clear. That is, the temperature is below the minimum temperature of the boiler. Then we have an intermediate heat up. This is the, uh, the phase where TK is at the minimum, but uh, the uh, TV is smaller than the calculated TV which we require because of the outside temperature in, in the environment. Uh, and then you have the third phase, which is the normal running. That's just when TV has <coughs> reached the level that is required by the outside. Uh, environment and uh, by, by separating these three phases you can uh, make good decisions about uh, controlling the, the oil. Keeping mixing entropy small does mean that you should not have TK very high as compared to TV. That means TK should be as near as possible to TV just because when, uh, when, you, when you have TK hi much higher than TV, you could make a, a, pro a, a process between these two temperatures and you could, could get, get energy out. This is the reason why one is talking of mixing entropy and not mixing energy. Mixing entropy means that you just mix higher temperature to lower temperature uh, uh, reservoir and by, do by doing that, you are losing possibility of, of uh, processes uh, between the two temperature different uh, temperature <coughs> levels. And that is the reason why we are yeah. talking about entropy and not energy. But this is clearly not easy uh, for all boiler states, especially when TV is very low. You cannot, uh, you cannot go there because you just have this 40 degrees uh, decline. Then uh, we use uh, a, a parameter called minimal energy needed and we define that just by uh, C which is the 4.2 kilojoule by 1 degree and kilogram times the mass of the radiator, of the water in the radiators 
uh, times the difference between uh, the required uh, temperature or uh, outgoing temperature and the uh, measured on outgoing temperature. So you see that A min is positive as long as T V calc is bigger. So it means that you have not yet reached the level where you can say, aha, now I, am in, I can go into a, 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 an equilibrium state. Uh, so it means that uh, A min, when it is smaller than zero, then we have an energy reserve in the house. It means that we have more energy in the water of the house than what, than what we need from the requirements of, of all the losses in the, uh, uh, into the environment. So what do we do? We say that as long as a minimum is positive, that means that the temperature is too low, we do not switch off the gas valve. You see, when you remember the CU1, there it, it makes on and off whatever it likes. And uh, here I say no, a minimum as long as this is positive, we will never switch off the gas valve. Clearly then we have to be a little careful, because the mixer has to be controlled very fine. So as to guarantee that you do, that you do not overheat the boiler, and uh, you, you or, or underheat the boiler by, by going below the 40 degrees. So this is really a very important uh, difference to the, to the way the CU1 is, is making uh, the control. So it means that uh, during this time, which is a time which can be quite long, hours, during this time only the mixer controls TK. Uh, and uh, the gas valve is just open. As soon as a minimum is smaller than zero, then we say, now we are in the hysteresis uh, uh, regime, because now we are in a, in a dynamic equilibrium. We have, what we have is, we have to, to supply the energy that is going out of the house, <laughs> because of uh, dissipation uh, through the, uh, the walls, and, uh, but we, we cannot we cannot just continuously switch on and off uh, to control that in a very short fashion because when we do that then we will also make a very uh, fast movement of the, of the gas valve which is not good. So uh, the idea is that we make like a kind of hysteresis uh, here in this regime so that we say as long as the energy is between zero and the maximum between zero uh, we say that uh, this uh, is on and off depending on the, on the state. That means as soon as the a minimum maximum reserve is, is reached, we stop the, the valve and, uh, and then we wait until the energy is going to zero again. Okay? This is uh, the, 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 the behavior when we are in the dynamic equilibrium. Now we look at the three phases. Early heat up, as I have said, we want to have very fast heat up to the minimum of, uh, of TK, and then uh, we, as soon as TK is uh, reach it, reached uh, the minimum value, we start opening the mixer, uh, and then uh, we switch, switch, after a, a while, we switch to intermediate uh, heat up. Uh, the, the 900 seconds is just uh, arbitrarily chosen. Uh, what you see here is uh, the, the result uh, of the heating up process. Uh, by the way, I would like to, to just shortly explain to you why here there is this minimum. Uh, the reason is that uh, the, the first uh, hardware that I used had, had special ranges between the lowest value and the highest value of the uh, analog digital converter. So I had to choose uh, the, the the transformation uh, in such a way that I had reasonable uh, things. And what you see here is that the minimal temperature that you can see at TK is 30 degrees. Because it's not interesting to know whether the boiler has less than 30 degrees. Uh, the new hardware which I have now with the mini lab uh, can go down further, but it doesn't really bring new insights. Okay, that's just, uh, so as I said, also here you see the, T, the, the TR, which is the blue curve, 
uh, is, is restricted here also around, uh, I don't know, 18 degrees or so. And uh, here TV has a little higher minimum. And now what you see is, this is now, here I have a new curve, this is the mixing angle, uh, shown in the, in the graph, here is zero degrees mixing angle, 45 and 90. And uh, this mixing angle is not really measured, but it is, it's, uh, it's uh, integrated over the time, because I'm just saying, as long as the mixing uh, relay is on, the mixer moves linearly from 0 to 90, and when it is closing, then it's vice versa. <coughs> so you can simply integrate uh, uh, the, the, uh, the amount of time that you have uh, the mixing valve uh, on, or, on or open or closing. Okay, so here uh, the first thing is that I do, when I start the, the computer, I have no idea where the mixing, uh, where the mixer is, because it can be wherever. So what, uh, what I'm doing at the beginning is I'm closing the mixer for two minutes, uh, a little more than, uh, than the, the, the amount of time. It, it needs 107 seconds. And after two minutes, it's clear that it, it must be closed now, whatever the position was, as long as it is not broken. And so it is clear that uh, now we are in closed uh, situation. And what happens now is you see that uh, TK is now rising <coughs> quite quickly. Uh, you see here is, uh, this is uh, uh, 60 degrees, this is 70 degrees, 80. So uh, we have here uh, over 60 degrees, but you see here I'm starting to open the valve around uh, the, the mixing the mixer around uh, a little above 40 degrees, and then it, it, it goes on to a certain angle, and then we are just waiting. And what happens is you see now the mixer starts working. The pump is not shown. The pump is on just uh, at the beginning. I'm thinking at the moment about uh, stopping the pump even at the beginning so that I can say uh, there is no effect of transporting cold uh, water through the, the boiler uh, so as until you are reached, uh, in, uh, you are reaching the, the state of state. And uh, you see now, here the mixing angle is not changing but the temperature change is quite dramatically. The, the gas valve is always open this green line here, that's just all this open. And uh, now you see that here we come to a point where we reach uh, the, the 900 seconds or around here, huh? 12 minutes. So uh, here starts the so-called intermediate phase that we will look at afterwards. And then what happens is that the mixer will slowly open. And you see, whenever you, you make a motion with the mixer, uh, then the, the, the water, the TV is, is increasing quickly, but only for a short period of time. Here you see, I'm making here about, uh, let's say, five degrees of uh, mixer angle opening, but you see here TV is quite dramatically going up and uh, uh, down again. Can you remind us, please, uh, the, the previous... Uh Graphic, no, the, the one be without your system to see when the temper the TV goes beyond the uh, be beyond the minimum. Uh -huh. TV is the house temperature, right? What is the house temperature? Uh, TV is that is the temperature that is going out into the house. Okay. Yes, uh, but uh, but this is not shown uh, also on the other diagram. You will see it later. No, uh, yes, yeah. so my question is: Does is is uh, the the, the temperature becomes uh, you reach you go beyond the, the the minimum earlier with your system. Oh sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. So do I understand? In the early phase, the mixer, after being closed for two minutes, is opened to an angle that controls the thing. The valve is continuously on the gas valve. Then, after 900 seconds, we go into the intermediate phase. And at that point, you're prepared. That's when you're first prepared to turn the valve off. Is that right, or do I misunderstand? Uh, uh, no, not really. No, the the idea is that the first phase is just a phase where I'm not interested in at all what TV makes. Yeah. 
uh, it's right. only interesting to look at TK. Right. And the idea is that TK is below the minimum temperature of 40 degrees, which is around here, uh, which means that I will not open the mixer at all. Oh, right. And okay. as soon as TK reaches the minimum temperature, I'm starting to open the mixer uh -huh. to a certain value. But that's this not the beginning of the intermediate phase? No. Okay. The intermediate right. phase is, is just arbitrarily chosen at, 900. at uh, okay. 900 seconds. And the reason is just that, you see, when, when you now look at the, at the heating up phases, whatever the conditions of the house are, uh, you will only see the same diagram. So because the intermediate phase is the phase when you start to look at TV. Is that what you're saying? Uh, yes. Right. Okay, uh, that's understand. probably, yes, that's, uh, that's uh, yeah. Okay, now we are looking at the intermediate heat up. The intermediate phase is uh, uh, clearly a minimum is bigger than zero because uh, else uh, we would be in the equilibrium. Uh, so it is clear that we are really heating up. As long as this is positive, we are heating up. The gas valve is always open. That's also a condition of heating up because it means that TV is not yet at the point. And uh, the heat transfer is completely controlled by the mixer. And uh, what, what is very nice is, uh, and I will show you now uh, a, a diagram uh, of, a, of a typical uh, run. <coughs> Uh, which is here. Uh, here again, this is the, 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 the heating up phase. Uh, this is the, the early uh, heating phase. And then here we start controlling the temperature of TK by making motions with the mixer. Now what is interesting, as I explained before, such a diagram shows you 20 minutes. So what you see here is that the first motion of the mixer <coughs> after its, in, its first start, uh, here just when TK rises in the early phase, is, is only after, let's say, uh, 15 minutes, typically. And then what happens is, you see, I'm move, moving very slow, a uh, very small amount, some degrees, and what happens is you have a dramatic effect <coughs> on dropping down the temperature to uh, somewhere around 45 or so, 44 degrees. And then it slowly rises, which is clear, because I do not do anything on the mixer. Now it's just there. It's there it's, it is at a fixed angle, and what happens is that the gas valve is always pushing energy. The energy is heating up TV, you see the, it goes up a little. And then what happens is that slowly this temperature will rise, okay? Just because you, you always have energy which is more than what you, what you give to the house. And then after a certain amount of time you say, ah, I'm now in a, in a position where TK is very stable. And uh, what I can do then is I can again uh, open the mixer a little more. And what happens is again that uh, the temperature TK will, will fall. And you see t TV always when I open the mixer, TV will make a, a small bump. That's very interesting. That's, uh, that was a, a first result of experiments. Afterwards I, I put it into the simulation uh, so as to be capable of showing this effect because it's, this is a, a, an interesting effect which, is, which has to do with the fact that the, a temperature, an energy distribution in the house is slow yeah. as compared to the energy distribution in the near uh, region between yeah. the, the boiler and the pump. Yeah. You see the, 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 the TV sensor is near the pump, so it means that it will see a, a, a quite a, a bump, whereas uh, after uh, the 300 liters you will not see any more any such thing. Okay, and then you see, what you see here is 80 minutes. So this is uh, one hour and 20. And uh, when you see this, uh, you have very small amounts of motion of the mixer. Here there is a little mixing up, mixing up. And uh, there is very smooth behavior of the, of the temperatures. All temperatures are rising apart from these small bumps, very, very slowly and very 
uh, even. Now, after a while, we, we are coming into phase three, which is the normal running. That means the equilibrium state, because when when we have reached the, the, the temperature uh, that we, that is calculated uh, to have enough energy in the house, uh, then we start doing this uh, thing, uh, this uh, normal running phase. And here we uh, we, dis we must differentiate two different uh, modes. The one mode is where the calculated temperature is below take home minimum, and the other one is where the calculated temperature is above take home minimum. I call this lower and upper mode. And the upper mode is very, very easy, because the upper mode means that because TV calculated is uh, bigger than TK minimum, uh, the, the mixer can just be left open, because we all do not violate the minimum requirement by just saying, aha, uh -huh, okay, so, so we just have to regulate uh, the uh, TV according to, to the needs uh, of the house. So that means, oh, what did that mean? Oh. machine gone The machine, yeah, that's true, maybe you just want to wake up the machine. Uh, I, you see, I have, I have, I have, no, it's not the machine, it's, it's, it's I've, I've pushed the wrong, the wrong button. button. Oh, right. I'm sorry. But the, the, you see, I'm not sure whether I am on the right channel. Ah, I'm sorry. Were you close to the end of your talk, Alfred? Do you, do you actually yeah. need your remaining slides? Or can you well, you see, the, it's, uh, the interesting thing is clearly these diagrams. Uh, yeah. But, uh, well, I, I, can, uh, I can just make a, a summary. Uh, what is very interesting was that clearly when I started uh, doing all these uh, experiments, these curves did not look like that. They, they looked more like uh, moving around. You see, uh, uh, the first thing was to, to, to be capable of, of making a good control of the mixer is really uh, the, the most important thing. Because uh, when you move the mixer too fast, then uh, you, have a lot of, uh, you have a lot of problems. And uh, uh, that was really uh, the most uh, important point to come to. Now we have, we have uh, a system which makes very, very small motions with the mixer. You, you, you are th there and the mixer is never moved. It, 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 because you have to wait 20 minutes and then it makes and then it waits again 20 minutes and then it makes So it is really, uh, it's, it's very, very calm. And uh, this clearly was not uh, the starting point. At the starting point the mixer moved uh, much too much. What is also interesting is that uh, the, the lower mode is clearly much more complicated to, uh, to uh, make a good uh, control because there you have the problem that the temperature which you require in the house is below the minimum temperature. So it means that as soon as the gas valve is off, you have to think about uh, the idea of, uh, of closing the mixer to avoid that the temperature of the of the uh, boiler is going away, because uh, you see you have 30 degrees in the house and you have 40 degrees in the mixer, so to re to to you have either the possibility to have gas which heats, 
to hold the temperature on 40 degrees or you have to close the mixer when there is no gas well. And what is also interesting is in the first 10 minutes after pushing, pu uh, uh, pushing off the gas valve, you have something like 130 watts coming out of the, of the uh, steel block yeah. from, the, from the boiler to heat up the local water. And as soon as you have closed the mixer, it helps you to maintain the temperature of, yeah. the, of, the, of the boiler, which is very positive. So it means that as long as you have uh, cooling down phases where you switch off the gas valve by 10 minutes, you will not be in, in uh, critical shape. So what I reached was uh, that I could make the, the, the mixer angle between 17 degrees and around 70 degrees. And so in this range, I have less motion than from zero to 90 and back to zero, okay? So I reduce the amount of motion by using these kind of Can effects. I just check? Zero is totally closed and yes. 90 is totally open. Right. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Uh, Do you have any uh, reductions in gas consumption or something else? Uh, that's uh, that's hard to say currently because uh, the point is that uh, you see I started developing uh, by the end of February, mm -hmm. and uh, I was lucky that the temperature rise of the uh, environment mm -hmm. was such that I could really study all the phases of the heating system. Uh, through these days. It's, that means uh, I, I was around uh, two months or so I was thinking about uh, the, the, these things. And uh, uh, so I cannot really currently say it is clear that this method will, uh, will save you gas on that. that okay. I, I don't know. Uh, need, I have no measurements uh, on that. Need some more years. Yes, experience. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably. Theoretically not. <laughs> Theoretically. Theoretically. I don't know what the energy you lose through walls. Uh, and that's a constant thing, you know. Yeah. Mm. Solid. And you can... Well, except because when you, you stop, the boiler cools down. So you need to reheat it so you have more energy to expense to reach it, the same level before the... You have a, a the reduction in consumption is of valves. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yes, yes that, that, is, more that is really yes. important. Yeah. Yeah. How much more do you uh, spoil over the time? <laughs> well, I have Difference. spoiled one. Uh, yeah. It was a defective one, and then you started to project. No, I started to project uh, some years later. So uh, okay. the, the valves last long. Mm -hmm. Yes, but nevertheless. Uh, so you it's very boring when uh, the valves are, are broken during the week. You never forgot this yes. dramatic, traumatic yeah. experience <laughs> yes. of losing a valve. Yeah. So you started this urgent project. Yeah, yeah. thanks very much. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, probably I can switch to the last. Uh, this, this is this, uh, you see here uh, that the, the TK is always near TD when, uh, when you are in the uh, equilibrium state. That's the, the, the upper mode, but it doesn't work. Yeah. Oh yeah, C1, C1, you see here, that's, that's probably an interesting comparison. This is the behavior of C1 in an equilibrium state at the same amount of temperatures. You see here the, the green, the TV, TV is around 50 to between 40 and 50 degrees. And here you see that the T, TK is rising much uh, above. And uh, what, it ha what it does is it heats up here, and then it just mixes off the, te the, the temperature in the, in the boiler. And uh, this, is, this is really a, a point where you get a lot of mixing entropy, which you should avoid. Okay, low no, no. Christian yeah. simulation. Probably there is a, there is one uh, thing. Uh, clearly, in such a heating system, you cannot rely on software completely. That's uh, that's too dangerous. So it is clear that uh, you have to put safety 
uh, hardware so that they guarantee that uh, everything is uh, not going into strange states. Uh, it, is, it is clear that uh, the, the, there is a safety measure built to, into the, the original oven, which is there to guarantee that uh, there should be no problem, but this switch is switching off at 110 degrees, and I would not like to try it out what happens when, when this switch <laughs> Because probably then I have to phone to somewhere, to someone. No, it's not the valve only. We yeah. start once. Yeah. <laughs> I need a boiler and uh, bring a roof. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and so uh, I have fit in uh, this, uh, this little thing that's uh, uh, a bimetal switch, which has uh, a nice feature, namely when it, when it uh, switches off. It starts heating up itself by using the power from the 230 volts. And so this uh, switch will never go on before you switch off completely by, by pulling off the 230 uh, uh, volt uh, uh, switch. Uh, this switch will never go on again. So it, it secures the, 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 the running of the, of the system. And this uh, is, I have uh, used uh, such a bimetal switch which is uh, at around 80 degrees. And I've measured it out. It's very interesting to see what happens. You see, you make water and you put it there and then you, you heat up with a Tauchseater. Okay, it's a, a, a small boiler in, in the water and then you see what happens uh, to, the, to the switch. I have not tried it yet uh, in the practical uh, environment. I will do experiments probably in September about that. Try it in summer when you don't need the heat. The fan. <laughs> <laughs> when you have time, yeah. Alfred, only a proposition. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like your scientific research on this is well ahead of the manufacturers of the boiler unit that it came with. Do you know how this compares with the industry in general? I mean, is this is this something that manufacturers should be really interested in? I like think so very much, much. Yeah. yes, yeah. definitely. Are you planning and to turn this into something that you will actually go to a targeted manufacturer with and say, look, you know... Maybe yes, at least I, I, tr I will try. Yeah. You yeah. see, I... I, well, I think it, it sounds like it has commercial value. No, sure. it has not. It has a negative commercial value. It describes the business of the people who repair the wall. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's true. But the Bangalore of all manufacturers will probably, there must be some manufacturer somewhere who says, buy ours, they don't break. Uh, they'll be different. They will probably buy it back to make sure it never it reaches the market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or he can start his own company, you know, manufacturer as well. But seriously, I, I think you go. Or yeah, no, I, I you'd have really, to target, really have to target the right about, manufacturer. Uh, starting discussions yeah. with, uh, with these people. But you see, the, the problem is that I have been in, uh, in banking environments, and so my contacts to these people are yeah. very, very uh, narrow. Well, and if anyone uh, knows a boiler manufacturer, they should let you know. Okay. <laughs> yes, <laughs> very good, yeah. Yeah, and clearly what I have also done is that, uh, yeah, th this is 230 volt switches are all uh, uh, um, um, control, uh, no, not control, they are monitored by, uh, by optocouplers so that I, in the software, I can detect when, when a relay fails uh, and uh, I can also detect when, when in the oven itself there is an alarm because of gas valve uh, malfunction or whatever. And so this is also an important uh, thing to guarantee that one does not really go into, uh, into problems. And then uh, the, the last thing is that uh, by switching, I can easily switch the old CU1 uh, with my uh, own control by just pull, pulling out this uh, uh, plug and pull, putting in the, 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 old, the other one and then uh, this old CU1 is running again. Because the old CU1 has its own sensors and whatever, so I do not uh, have to, uh, uh, to to do more than just switching these two. So uh, this is yes. Okay. So in in my uh, opinion, the CU2 runs much better than CU1. It is clear when you stand beside the the heating place, you you find. 
Uh -huh. It's really very calm as compared to before, because before it was always mixer on, mixer off, uh, valve on, valve off, and whatever in the, in the first uh, phase. And uh, yes, then uh, it is clear small talk is a wonderful uh, ex uh, environment to make these kind of, of things also. In this environment, you see, this, this is not the environment where I'm using small talk normally, and uh, it is very fascinating that you can make development changes during the running of the system. You see, I, I sat there during the running of the boiler, and I made changes. I said, oh, but now I get a problem, the temperature is rising too fast, okay, let me take it, put a little more... Uh, Who's done with uh, a problem? <laughs> you see, in the, in the, in the, in the, there is a demonstration, which I can present uh, at whenever some people are interested. Uh, but this demonstration, you can see, I have there a, a, a switch to say, go to hand control of the mixer. This was very interesting because uh, by using the hand control of the mixer, uh, you could really try out uh, good combinations of, of thinking about how can you make control which is, which is calm. You see, that when my first curves were like that, the mixer went off and, and closed and uh, just like that. And then I started thinking that cannot be the problem because what happens is TV is also making like that, clearly. When the, when the mixer is open, a lot of uh, energy is going through and when it is closed, uh, it is uh, buried in the, in the, in the oven. So uh, it was very interesting to, to go through these uh, steps to find out how you can really make a very, very smooth control. And now it's th this mixer does not move anymore. <laughs> and then the simulation was also interesting in the sense that uh, it is clear that when you make a simulation you find out that the simulation is not doing what you have in real life and then you start thinking about oh, I have to put in something new into the simulation and then you put it in and you, do, you make new experiments and you find out about other things which influence then uh, the practical running. So it is really a very, very fascinating uh, work uh, to, to come to, to a smooth running of, of such a system using small talk. And uh, I, would, I would like really to stress that, uh, you see, I have made a, a heat control uh, system in 1981. And this heat control system ran in my house for 20 years. But this was a very simple one because it just had to pull up, pull up the gas valve for uh, push down and, uh, and the, the rest was just, uh, there was no take home minimum and nothing. So it was very simple. And there I used EPROMS and uh, I did never change or never like to change the program because it's very complicated. You need to burn EPROMS and then you put in into the hardware. It's very complicated. And here you have a system where you run it and during the running you can change the code. And this is, uh, yes, it's just small. So this was uh, my motivation to, to show it to, to you, uh, even if uh, the theme does not have much to do with small. I thank you very much.